50 was? 60 plus your massage. Your total was 90. I don't remember any massage. Come on now, lover. Sure you do. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that massage. It oh. sure did help you unwind. 90 credits. Need a receipt? Gotta go. Cosmos Security Management. If you know the party with whom... Jake Cardigan. One moment, please. Hi, this is Jake Cardigan. I'm not in right now, so talk to me. Jake, Charmaine, I've got something to sell you. It's very big. Call me the second you get this message. I'm not leaving my apartment. You got that right. Supplementing our income with a bit of snitching, are we? Starting a retirement fund, maybe. You won't need it. Oh, don't be scared. It's only tech. Tech is your friend. Enjoy it. You'll be dead within the hour. Good evening, Beth. You have two messages. Playing back. Beth. Yeah, I know we said we were going out to dinner tonight, but uh, things got a little busy around here, so why don't I just pick us up some Thai food and uh, maybe we'll go out Friday night instead. All right? I'll see you in a while. 
Beth Kittredge, you're a winner. 1,000 credits of free merchandise from the Interactive Value Network. There's no catch. Just tune in and spend them. IVN, the only way to shop. Clear messages. And turn on IVN. Am I a lunatic? I heard that. And you are wrong. R-O-N-G, wrong. I am giving away these little miracles with every purchase. Why? I love music. And I want to share this amazing super music machine with all my loyal IVN shoppers. Because you have made me stinking rich! <laughs> so come on, do us both a favor. Order something now. You will love your free super music machine. Or my name isn't Marty Dollar. You are what? The Interactive Value Network. So don't just sit there. Activate. Interactive mode on. May I see that dress? Certainly. Please step closer. Exclusively from IVN, this lovely cocktail dress is perfect for that special evening on the town. Best of all, it's only 1,195 credits. Yow. Yow? As in you look great? Yeah, you look great, but yow is in 1,200 credits? I want a thousand, so it's not really only two hundred. Only? Wouldn't you rather have some pad thai? I'll take both. Order, please. Size noted, credit approved. Thank you for shopping, IVN. We also have a special on shoes. Half price on glass noodles. No, thank you. Yes, please. If you screen off. You know, there are actually places where you can go to and people serve you food on plates. No, I'm sorry Not that we didn't go out to dinner tonight, but I promise you, the service is much better here. I promise. I promise you the best service that you've ever had in your life tonight. I'm going to hold you to it. <laughs> Good. Bid phone on. Hey, partner, what's up? Hate to disturb your dinner, but do you remember a lady by the name of Charmaine? Yeah. Yeah, she used to snitch for us when we were on the force. That's the one. She left you a message. Flagged it urgent, so I peeked. Says she wants to sell you something big. I guess we should check it out. Get phone off. Did your pad tile get cold? I like it cold. Just save me some satay. Honey, I'll be back before you know it. Uh-huh. You're still not answering. Hey, what is that thing? Is that a new toy here? It's not a toy. It's a prototype that Baskin's asking to field test. It's called a pod. A pod? Let me guess. A uh, puny, obnoxious device? Not even close. Portable olfactory detector. This baby can pick up the most minute aromatic traces and match them to a database of 80,000 cents. This is a highly sophisticated instrument. Tech overdose. Guess we'd better notify the cops. Yeah, we'll call Winger. After we look around. Fourteen hertz of sonic. But some folk in a suggestive state of mind. Well, it's your usual MO. Loosen up the bodies and maybe the tongues. I bet you want to know who this thing was last used on. I sure would. Aha. Uh -huh. Hydrocarbon traces. Petrochemical. Could be our man worked in a refinery. Or maybe somebody rubbed them down with body oil. It's another possibility. Like somebody wiped their organizer clean. 
new scent. Whoever wiped it recently ate pad thai. Wrong. This baby is never wrong. I ate the pad thai. Oh, sensitivity must be too high. Huh. You also were an evening breeze. And what is evening breeze? A very high-class perfume. Somebody was definitely wearing it. Oh, that's really helpful. Somebody in this room was wearing that perfume. Maybe it was the murderer that was wearing it. Or maybe it was Charmaine herself. Or maybe it was a friend of hers, huh? Or maybe a weird customer. OK, OK. Hey, you want to do something useful? Put that thing away and see if you can find a client list. You said the organizer was white. Yeah, you ever see a hooker without a backup? It's something she'd want to keep with her at all times, right? Kind of light for a rock to speak. Data disk. Jackpot. Beth Kittredge, IVN delivery. <laughs> yes, that's right. It's me in the flesh. <laughs> it's all part of IVN speedy and personal service. Here's your lovely and reasonably priced dress. Oh, thank what? you. <laughs> what a beautiful place you have here. I love this staircase. Magnificent. <laughs> Marty Dollar. What are you doing here? Just delivering the goods. Um, it's Do you always deliver your goods in person, Mr. Dollar? Uh, no, as a matter of fact, this is a first. Oh, here is your uh, free super music machine. Allow me. I'll bet you like Mozart. Stunning, isn't it? No speakers, no headsets. It emits a neural field that stimulates the cochlea directly. Oh, it's amazing. Oh. What exactly are you selling, Mr. Dollar? Marty. Now, forgive my theatrics, but my staff informs me whenever a celebrity places an order. I'm not a celebrity. You are to me. You're one of the world's top cyber biologists. I've read everything you've ever published in the cybernetic journals. Really? Your molecular studies on tech are brilliant. Amazingly perceptive. So you've come for my autograph? No. I want to offer you a job. I have a dream. I want to stamp out tech addiction, and I think I can do it by making tech itself non-addictive. It's impossible. On the contrary. Suppose you could reduce the acetylcholine levels. That would require altering the diphenorine structure. Just enough to remove the addictive effects. But not so much as to interfere with neuronal inductance. Beth, hi. What can I say? I'm running a little late. Jake Cardigan. I'm Marty Dollar. Perhaps you've seen me on my interactive value network. No, I don't shop from vid screen. I prefer the personal touch. So do I. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Jake, Mr. Dollar's just offered me a job. Uh, Marty, please. That's right, huge salary, full benefits, and a state-of-the-art laboratory. Beth is going to become part of our great IVN family. Is she now? If I accept. I haven't yet. Well, you know what's best. Look, I gotta run. We'll talk about it later. Delighted to meet you, Jake. Yeah. Is 9 tomorrow too early? For what? To come and visit your new lab, check out the facility, see what work has been done already. Tell me, am I winning those thousand credits? You rigged that, didn't you? Just to get my attention? Exactly. Like I said, you're amazingly perceptive. <laughs> those damn ads are everywhere. Is that Charmaine's data disk? Uh-huh. Full record of her clientele. Last customer, Lyle Krebs, 5 Letterman Avenue. Number five. Dr. Krebs is not at home. When will he be back? He did not specify. We're up to Model 2 lock. Way out of date.
in Silver City. Yeah, and all for Marty Dollar's network, too. Uh, it doesn't say much for Mr. Krebs' taste, does it? Hey, does that thing have a volume control? Look, same reading as before. Evening breeze perfume. Did you know that perfume produces a slightly different scent on everybody's person? Gee, I didn't know that. Oh, well, the pot does. I'm going to set it to tell us when it detects that particular person who... No, just don't look at the names, okay? Here's something. Krebs worked for IBM. Which explains all this junk. Must get a great employee discount. Yeah, sure. Or he just likes to bring his work home, though. Should I go two for two? Like... Really? So much for waking up the neighbors. I said state of the art. And a molecular synthesizer. Nothing but the best when you work for IVM. If I work for IBM. Hey, tell you what, why don't you take a week and see how you like it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Beth, we need you. We are so close to a breakthrough. Please, help us. We've been trying to neutralize the diphenorine using gamma rays. That might work. Have you tried pulse bombardment? No, no, we have not, please. I'll need diphenorine to test. I'll supply you with tech chips to extract it from. Mm, that takes forever and doesn't yield much. I'll just synthesize what I need. It's not difficult. You are too modest. I would guess there are perhaps oh, 10 people in the world who could do that. I knew I picked the right person. Beth, we are going to do great things together. And just what exactly does that mean? Uh, Jake, what are you doing here? Just came to visit your new boss. Mr. Cardigan. How nice to meet you in the flesh. How can I help you? Tell me about Lyle Krebs. Employee of yours? Yes, research and development. Perhaps you heard of him. Also a murder suspect, and I'd like to speak to him. So would I. Yeah, Krebs disappeared yesterday, just about the time that I asked for his arrest. Arrest for what? I'd rather not say. It's an internal corporate matter. You understand? No, I don't. Explain. Unless there's something that you're trying to hide. Jake, that's uncool. Oh, that's all right, Beth. Could we talk about this elsewhere? Why? Is there something about IVN's corporate affairs that you want to hide from your new employee? Jake. Not at all. I just don't want to keep her from her very important work. Please. We'll discuss the uh, anti-addiction project over lunch. Krebs was stealing merchandise from us. He bragged about it to a prostitute named Charmaine, and she told IVN. Charmaine snitched to you? Well, for a price, naturally. And then you notified the cops? Yes, unfortunately by then the woman was already murdered and Krebs had already disappeared. Lieutenant Winger. What are you doing here, Cardigan? Oh, just nosing around. That's what they pay me for. Is there any place you won't stick your nose? There's been a new development in the Krebs case. You want him present for this? Oh, don't worry, Winger. I won't laugh if you say something stupid. You may speak freely, Lieutenant. Last night, Krebs' apartment was firebombed. Forensic says the device was rigged inside a file cabinet. We're presuming Krebs planted it. Presuming? You mean guessing? I don't guess. I employ inductive logic. Oh, pardon me. Go on. Also, there's evidence Krebs took a flight to Rio. We're checking. Thank you. You'll keep me posted. That's it? Case closed? When we locate Krebs. <laughs> Ten credits says you never will. Now, now, Cardigan. You know gambling is against the law. Mr. Dollar, you know, I find it hard to believe that uh, Charmaine came to you. 
And she never trusted the corporate type. She had a commodity to sell. Everything's buying and selling with you, isn't it? You know, some people aren't for sale. That has not been my experience. Is there anything else I can do for you? Stay out of my house. Ah, passion fruit. Try some. It's real, it's not synthetic. <laughs> This is quite a place for a business lunch. Well, uh, I own the joint. <laughs> My wife liked it, so, uh, so I bought it. I didn't know you were married. She died about a year ago. I'm sorry. She was a tech addict. She knew it was killing her. I mean, she wanted to quit, but she just didn't have the strength. I, uh, I established the IVN Anti-Tech Foundation. The day I buried her. Look, Beth, I'm a realist. I don't think we'll ever stamp out tech, but if we can at least make it non-addictive so those that want to quit can. I don't need to give you a pep talk. <laughs> the fight against tech has always been your fight, too. And your father's, I know. It's a fight he lives for. He's a very passionate man. Like father, like daughter. <laughs> Must be tough to uh, follow in the footsteps of a man like that. I promised myself I'd try and live up to his expectations. And you will. all you got in Krebs? Do I look like a magician? I can't pull that out of thin air. Nika, there's got to be more than this. The guy was dirty. Obsessive today, aren't we, Jake? I can't believe that all Charmaine was trying to sell me was a small-time shoplifter. Krebs had to be mixed up in something bigger. If anyone has a job to find proof on the Matrix, it's me. But if it ain't there, it ain't there. What do you want? His whereabouts would be nice. Flight record says Rio. Of course, that is so easy to fake. Could fool anyone, except the cops. Tell me what he was working on when he was at IVN. I have given you his complete IVN file. It's not my fault they're too smart to enter his evil deeds into the cyber record. Jake, hacking into private files? That's an invasion of privacy. Never stopped you. Well, I had good reason, have you? Well, something's going on at IVN. Something? What are you up to, Jake? It's following a hunch. A hunch or something else? Such as what? You tell me. Well, you think I'm after Marty Dollar just because I don't like the guy? What I think isn't the issue. It's what you think. I think he's a con man. But what's his con? I'm working on that. I've known Marty Dollar for 10 years. Well, that figures that you would know. It was his company that raised the money that funded the research that cured leukemia. He's a benefactor. No, he's a manipulator. So he's done a few good deeds. That buys him hands off? No. But it suggests that anybody taking a pot shot at him better have some real live ammunition. You're shooting blanks. Where are your facts? He's phenomenally wealthy. He owns a network. What reason would he have to run a car? So you're saying I should look into his motivation? Not his. Yours. How's it going? So far, I'm getting nowhere. Oh. It's just your first day. Look, I'm hosting a little get-together tonight at IVN to kick off the Fantastic Music Friday. I would love it if you and Jake would attend. Mm, I'd rather keep working. Oh, come on. You know what they say about all work and no play, huh? And don't tell me you have nothing to wear. <laughs> come on, let me walk you to your car. Received pattern match. Is that the diphenamine you've been synthesizing? Mm -hmm. Class one regulated substance. I don't know, Sid. Maybe I'm just not seeing straight on this thing. Follow your gut, partner. Your hunches have paid off before. Yeah, but can I trust my gut? 
When I see Beth with Marty Dollar, my gut burns like hell. You saying you got a hunch about her? I don't buy it. We got problems, you know. I, mean, I don't spend enough time with her. I can't buy her anything. I try to talk to her about her work, but it's way over my head. So he gives her a great job. He spends lots of time with her, and he knows all about her work. So what? The lady loves you, man. Sometimes that's not enough. Jake, honey, you said Beth's lab is on the third floor of IVM? Yeah, so? All IVM labs are on three. But there's an area in the basement fitted out the same way. Full shielding, tons of waveguides sucking up a ton of power. So they got two labs. So the building schematics filed with the city have that area pegged as dead storage. But IVN is using it for something else. Well, maybe Marty's got a little secret. Nika, I could kiss you. Well, if you insist on gratuity, I prefer cash. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep it short and simple. Tech chip, tech headset. Tech user. Tech fancy. Tantalizing, but only for a while. For here are some tech realities. Addiction. Criminal penalties. Neural damage. Death. Simple enough? Performance, Walter. I, I, I rather thought so. <laughs> it's good to have you on board in our war against tech. I've been on board for some time, Marty. <laughs> I'm glad you decided to come. Yeah. You know, we could have gone out, just the two of us, had a little dinner, maybe talked a few things out. Yeah, we could have done that last night, too. A super music machine? What, are you giving those away? Yes, sir. Allow me. This thing plays music. Where do you put the chip? It needs no chips. It comes with 90 hours of music built into its memory. Well, and then what? You just toss it out? Not at all. That's what Fantastic Music Friday is for. At midnight, IBM's new music computer goes online. Millions of selections. Gotcha. Thank you. Racket. <laughs> Gives away the hardware because he's the only one selling the software. Dr. Kittredge, Mr. Cardigan, I'm so glad that you could make it. I trust you're enjoying yourselves. Well, we couldn't be happier. Must you act that way? Hey, Beth, believe me, Marty Dollar is not a good guy. You are forever looking for the bad in people. That's my job. Well, do you always have to be on the job? Uh, Dr. Kittridge, there's someone I'd like you to meet over here. I'll be right there. Who's on the job now? Go ahead. I'll go talk to Baskin. You missed my acting debut. I got a fact for you. There's a secret lab in this building. You don't say. Yep. I want to take a peek at it. And you're going to help me. What makes you think so? Yeah, because I know what motivates you. Curiosity. You can't stand that there's something going on in this world that you don't know about. Come on, didn't you once say that uh, knowledge is power? That was Francis Bacon. What sort of help do you need? All is in hand, I trust. Everything's operational. Final checkout is in 10 minutes. Excellent. I don't trust Cardigan. Keep him busy, would you? Dr. Kittredge, I've been ignoring you quite long enough. Sir, but could I solicit your advice? Sure, why not? What's the best way to break the ice with someone who's just uh, caught your eye? Good looking guy? Very. <sighs> Offer to buy him a drink? And, uh, and then what? 
Now, are you one of the party favors, or, uh, or are you for sale, too? Are you selling something? I'm not selling anything. <clears throat> Synthetic. <clears throat> Just like the lobster. And believe me, nobody knows phony like me. <laughs> I'm the master of phony. Well, I'm not. <sighs> Wrapped up in a phony, phony rap. Cost me my phony marriage. Now I'm stuck in this phony, stinking job. <laughs> and there, over there, is my my girlfriend over there dancing with Mr. Phony himself, Marty Dollar. <laughs> All right, Jake, that's enough. Don't spoil the occasion. Can't spoil what's already rotten. That's a, that's enough. Hey, can't you tell time? I'm off the clock. And damn if I'm gonna take orders from you when I'm off the clock. Central, this is Walter Baskin. I want someone oh. picked up now. Guys, oh, guys, come on. Do what? Are you gonna call the cops on me now, huh? 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 For what? Because you're drunk. Why don't you go home? Why don't you go to hell? Uh, no, Ben. I'll take it. The charge is Mr. Baskin. Assault and battery. That's a joke! Just like you, boss! Big time boss! Let's see who's laughing when your parole's revoked. And you're back in the freezer. Okay, you boss! What the hell are you guys? Tell charges. You know, who sue you and your whole stupid family? Oh, it's nap time. Oh, not for me. For you. How'd you jump the gun, partner? Because you're a losing face. Morph mask never works when you need it. Can you shut that thing off? What is the problem? It says your smell. Who have you been hanging out with? Oh, some hot number at IBN. Uh, that hot number left a trace of Eden Breeze. Well, well, what a small world. According to Nika's map, it should be just ahead. Tommy, are you excited about your preview of Fantastic Music Friday? You bet. You got your super music machine? What's your favorite music? Country metal. Okay, good. Here we go. Now, put your super music machine up against this console so we can downline your selection. Are you hearing it yet? Yeah. It sounds great. was that? Incredible. Let me try it again. It's all the time we have. Come on. Give me a little more. Look, I'll pay you. I got class. If you want more, listen to Fantastic Music Friday in less than an hour. We need Beth now. Marty's Fantastic Music Friday broadcast will begin shortly. If you all just take seats. You're not staying, Mr. Baskin? I've had enough theater for one evening, thank you. A super music machine? Miss Kittred, could you come with me, please? What for? We need your statement. Oh, what are you talking please, about? come with me. <laughs> what is this all about?
I'll let my partner explain. <laughs> what did you do? Take an ethanol you absorber? Listen to me. I had to find out what asked? Marty was up to. But Jake, I don't know whether to be your angry. Just for a second, will you? Marty has figured out a way to make those music machines addictive. Anybody who buys music from IVN gets hooked. Instant junkies. Millions of them. How do you know this? Because we saw it. It's a little capsule, about so big. They plug it into the back of the machine, My and that's God, it. My God, he's transmitting the diphenarine over the network. <sighs> and I made the diphenarine for him. You did what? That's why he brought me here. It was a con job from the start. That bastard. <sighs> Jake, I'm sorry. I should have listened to you. Well, you had no reason to. I was a jerk. And if you've been a jerk, I've been a fool. I suppose we deserve each other. But we gotta get to my lab and destroy what I synthesized. How addictive is that stuff? Broadcast waveform, one capsule could hook half a million people. Ouch. Too late. Much too late. Frisk them. Whatever happened with Krebs? Too talkative and too greedy. We terminated his employment. Unfortunately, he destroyed all the Defenderin he'd made. Well, too bad you didn't think of that before you killed him. Nobody's perfect, sweetie. Fortunately, Marty found himself a sucker who could sweet talk. I don't want that one. She's all yours. Careful, idiot. That's a proximity bomb with enough neoplastic to take us all out. He's bluffing. Let me see that. Get ready. I'm a salesman, and this is the culmination of a salesman's dream. Tonight, I make history with the greatest merchandising event of all time. <laughs> you think I'm exaggerating, don't you? But before the night is out, you'll believe me. You will believe. Oh, man, my part is dead. Well, may it rest in peace. At least it served its purpose. Good evening, IBN viewers. I'm Marty Goller. Did you miss me, huh? <laughs> now, get ready for Fantastic Music Friday. In 10 minutes, you'll be able to buy all of the music you've ever wanted. And I guarantee you'll love it. It's 10 minutes to midnight. Any way we can pack into that music machine from here? No, not in time. Then we need a diversion. What a fire drill do? I should think so. Right, you two get out of here. Call in the cavalry. And I'm gonna pull Marty's plug. Warning. Trace levels of gamma radiation detected. Check shielding. For some odd reason, you still don't have your super music machine. Let me give you a little incentive. <laughs> the 10,000th person to receive a super music machine by midnight will get this absolutely fabulous classic car. Now, does that ring your chimes? <laughs> Attention, attention. Radiation breach on level three. Evacuate the building immediately. Containment has been breached. Evacuate immediately. Attention, attention. Radiation breach on level three. Evacuate the building. Wait, come back here. One moment, please. You gotta get back on the air. No, no, it's a false alarm.
containment has been breached. Evacuate immediately. Attention, attention. Radiation breach on level three. Evacuate the building immediately. Containment has been Give it up, Marty. Those sirens will bring every cop in town. Not so fast, Jake. Trust me, you don't want my thumb to come off this button. Why? Let me show you what's behind the curtain. <laughs> my security men were forced to take out your partner, but your girlfriend is okay for now. Show's over, Marty. Don't make it harder on yourself. Nonsense. I have one more spectacular pitch. Go to your vid phone right now and make a call. Tell the cops that I've already flown the coop. Send them on a wild Marty chase. You get the girl, I duck out the back and make my way to Peru for a healthy retirement. Get ready. No sale. out by a hologram. You know a hologram, right? <laughs> Your partner. I want you to tell Baskin that I'm going to be taking a few days off, at least. Also, you're working on something important. Well, you won't be lying. By the way, what happened to Marty? Oh, uh, his offer expired. Thank you.